Celebrities getting exposed for lying has become a daily part of the paparazzi and the internet's life. There are multiple social media pages that are even just dedicated to simply exposing these celebrities for lying to their fans or for faking their luxurious lifestyle to draw envy from the masses. You enjoyed our part one of this series so much that we're back for a part two. But first, if you could do us a big favor and please tap that like button, we'd really appreciate it. And with that out of the way, let's begin. Coming in number 10, Angelina Jolie. Born in Los Angeles, California, Angelina is the daughter of actors John Voigt and Marshall and Bertrand. She is the niece of Chip Taylor and sister of James Haven. On her father's side, Jolie is of Czechoslovakian and German descent, and on her mother's side, she is French Canadian and is said to be part Iroquois. Angelina has proudly said that she is part native, but according to her father, it's not true. According to John, his wife's claims of being part Iroquois were simply said to enhance her exotic background. But after 1993, Bertrand turned her attention towards producing. She was the executive producer of a documentary called Trudell, which was about Native American activist John Trudell. It was shown at the Sundance Film Festival in 2005. But whatever her ancestry may be, Bertrand took an interest in indigenous indigenous causes and shared her activism with Angelina. Since then, Jolie has taken up causes such as refugee and immigrant children, although she is more than likely not Native American, so it's a bit of a fake life lie. Coming number 9, Bill Clinton. 23 years ago, the US House of Representatives voted to impeach President Bill Clinton for giving false testimony about having an inappropriate relationship with White House intern Monica Lewinsky. The political scandal of 1998 saw the 42nd US President give false statements under oath, with a notorious one-liner leaving a big mark. The infamous words were broadcast during a press conference on January 26, 1998. I want you to listen to me. I'm going to say this again. I did not have sexual relations with that woman, Miss Lewinsky. In the summer, the president then admitted that he had been involved with Ms. Lewinsky, deeming the relationship not appropriate and a critical lapse in judgment. Mr. Clinton was later charged with two articles of impeachment, one for perjury for lying under oath to federal judges, and the other for obstruction of justice. Impeachment proceedings then began in early 1999, concluding with Mr. Clinton being acquitted of both charges. Ah, democracy, oh, 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 and he wrote on Jeffrey Epstein's plane 26 times. Just thought I'd mention that. Coming in number eight, Jennifer Lopez. There have been a lot of celebrities that have lied to the public about their age, but this one was a little bit weird. For the longest time, Jennifer Lopez had the public believing that she was born in 1970. Over 1999, a shooting took place inside of a nightclub where Puff Daddy, Jennifer Lopez, and Shine had all been partying. The incident led to a 10 year prison sentence for Diddy's then protege, and one of the victims that evening was Natanya Rubin, who was in the face. Diddy, who was acquitted of all charges related to the case, settled with three of the victims of the 1999 club sh According to those reports, Ruben was paid $1.8 million, and yes, she survived the shot. When the police arrived though, they had to identify everyone involved in the incident, which led to Jennifer being caught in a lie about her age. In reality, she was born in 1969, but for whatever reason, she felt knocking off that extra year made her feel younger. Coming number 7, Amber Heard. Amber Heard willfully lied to US immigration by telling them that her British personal assistant was just a friend and was not working unlawfully. Her former aide, Kate James, who was fired by the actress in February of 2015, then alleged in a high court battle that Miss Heard deliberately smuggled her dogs into Australia, which led to her being caught breaching quarantine rules and overall thinking that she was above the law. The claims were made in a witness statement by Miss James, which was then submitted to the high court as part of Johnny Depp's libel action suit against the Sun newspaper. Coming number 6, Nick Young. This is another one of those messy celebrity breakups that had a lot of people shaking their heads at the time. At first it started as a prank when the LA Lakers were recording player D'Angelo Russell and it inadvertently included fellow player Nick Young. In the video, Nick apparently admits to cheating on his girlfriend rapper Iggy Azalea. Young then says it was false, Iggy says okay, and then the relationship went on. However, not too long after that, she caught him on the security camera bringing women into their home. To make things even worse, Young was still expecting a baby with his ex-girlfriend. A baby that was definitely conceived while he was cheating on his ex with Iggy. Following the security cam footage, Iggy tweeted, out. I broke up with Nick because I found out he had brought other women into our home while I was away and caught them on the security footage. Then tweeting again saying, this is just like a second shot to the chest and I feel like I don't even know who the hell it is I've been loving all this time. Coming to number 5, Bow Wow. Shad Moss aka Bow Wow has acted in some stellar movies from Like Mike to Fast and Furious, Tokyo Drift. The actor, rapper and producer currently has an estimated net worth of 1.5 million dollars and now he has said during interviews that this wasn't a lie and that he wanted to just post something related to travel but I don't know, you be the judge on this one. So this photo is was actually from a private plane rental company website, just as one of their examples of what they offer, but moments after Bow Wow posted that photo to Instagram with the caption, traveling to NYC today, and then he was 
caught red handed. He was actually just flying to NYC like everybody else in coach and a fan happened to recognize him and then immediately his lies went viral. Coming number 4, Rita Ora. Aside from being a talented musical act, Rita has also acted in some big films. She was in pretty much all of the 50 Shades of Grey movies and even appeared in Pokemon Detective Pikachu. Here's where she got caught lying though. She posted this tweet that said, dropping my new song Monday if this gets 100,000 retweets. And it got way less than that. Which then resulted in the drastic narrative change of, by the way my Twitter got hacked, somebody is threatening to release new music I've worked really hard on, nothing comes out until I'm ready. And funny enough, that tweet had more retweets than her previous one, but again, nothing even close to 100,000. She is dreaming if she thinks she can hit 100k. But by the way, she has 6.5 million followers, so I'm thinking there's some bots in there. Coming number 3, P. Diddy. Known primarily for his work in the music industry, Sean Combs has acted in a bunch of big name productions from Get Him to the Greek to Monster Ball with Halle Berry. His fans on Instagram found out that he was also a skilled photographer. In 2014, Diddy posted this beautiful photo of an eclipse captioned, hashtag DiddyView. And right at the top comment though, you can see his fans calling BS on this one. BB Flower Girl commented, that's not Diddy's picture, it's at Cole underscore younger. It's digitally enhanced. And as you can see, the original post by Cole is filled with people tagging P. Diddy, but instead of giving the actual photographer any credit, he just posted it as his own. Coming number 2, Miley Cyrus. Back in 2018, Miley Cyrus was fighting to have a videotape of her deposition sealed by a judge. According to The Blast, Cyrus was caught up in a legal battle regarding her sister's dog, Feather. Cyrus' sister, Brandy, lives in an apartment complex that was paid for by her older sister. In 2014, Feather ended up biting one of her neighbors, and because Miley paid for the apartment, she was then forced to sit through a deposition where she answered questions pertaining to the dog. She she claimed that she didn't know the dog, which is a hilarious statement in a courtroom. However, after the neighbor did some digging, she found a video of Miley and Feather together from years back. She brought the evidence to court and used it to prove that Miley's testimony was a lie. Once Miley learned of the video's existence, she went to court to file an amended declaration claiming that she did know Feather after all. Now, Miley is asking that the judge seal the videotape of the deposition. Her argument is that she is one of the most famous celebrities in the world and is subject of media and tabloid speculation concerning even irrelevant minutiae details of her life. That neighbor couldn't care less though and still wanted the video to be released to the public because she lied. Last but certainly not least in our number one spot, Kanye West. Kanye West was doing his Kanye best when he was trying to get himself into the election for November 3rd. The odds seemed very stacked against him though, but time after time it looked as though he was finally finding ways to prevail and end up on the ballot in most states under the party known as the Birthday Party. Just a hilarious name. That being said, his petition to appear on New Jersey's ballot as a presidential candidate contained more than 600 defective signatures. Many of those signatures had very similar writing, and according to a formal complaint filed with the state on Wednesday, election law attorney Scott Salmon, a registered Democrat, filed the objection with the state division of election after reviewing more than 1,300 signatures that the rapper had submitted. West managed to exceed the requirement of 800 signatures to appear on the ballot as an independent candidate in just in time for the deadline, but now his whole campaign was up in the air due to him being caught in this lie. But guys, that has been the Top 10 Celebrities Exposed for Living Fake Lies Part 2. And before we get out of here, I'm going to check out some of your comments from the video titled Top 10 Influencers Exposed for Living Fake Lies Part 4. Can't believe we've done that many. Emily says, these kinds of videos always make me feel better about my normal boring life. You should always feel better about your life because it's not being constantly blasted into the media. G Flores says, Johnny wearing the detective hat ready to expose those influencers. Yeah, we need to get like an IO detective hat just for the beginning. Maybe it's some cool intro. I don't know. Alex Doyle says, I remember seeing that first one and was mind blown and genuinely thought it was a joke. Mm mm, mm mm, not a joke. They're all real. Twilight Princess says, Nick Cannon, I love that reference. <laughs> I'm glad you guys got the uh, love don't cost a thing reference. Valencia Williams says, mostly everything is fake nowadays. I don't look at stuff for authenticity anymore. More of it's worth watching. Very true. Very true. But guys, that is the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I've been your host, Johnny Rogers, and until next time, stay classy, YouTube, or at least try.